It's critical to strike a balance between technology on one hand and artisanship on the other hand. We use human hands and train artisans because wood is unique. You cut down a tree in a forest, that piece of wood was a living organism. And as a result, when you dry it out and start carving it, it's unique from any other living organism that was a tree in that forest or any other forest. So unless you can uh, take into account the uniqueness of the wood that you're using, you can't really predict what the final voice of an instrument is. If you take a hundred pieces of wood and put them all in a computer numerically controlled machine and carve them exactly the same way you carved the best guitar you ever made, you're going to get a hundred different results because that machine can't predict how that wood is going to respond when you play a note. So we use human hands and, and it's not just anybody, it's got to be someone who has a temperament and the feel and the talent to be able to carve something into a fine instrument. These are guys who spent hours and hours and hours in solitude over a workbench. And they're not making one thing over and over, but they're making a hundred parts over and over that all need to fit together perfectly and sound consistent when you put strings on them. It takes a certain kind of person to do that, and, and we're very fortunate to have some of the best in the world that work under this roof. <laughs>